Yo, what's going on with you, YouTube? Jumpin' Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid, guys. And what we have here today, bam, that's right. And these are the Air Jordan 1 OG Low Black Toe. First of all, I gotta say that this is probably my most anticipated uh, shoe of the summer. It's a great shoe, especially for an Air Jordan 1 Low. You know, I love to wear low, especially during the summertime. Out in the valley, you like to walk around, you know what? I already have the high tops of the black toes back in 2017, 16. And also I love the shoe too as well. But for us to come with the low top, it's just so nice because for the summertime, you know, you like to walk around. This is definitely gonna be my beater shoe. Like this is gonna be the shoe I'm gonna put by the front door when I go out and about, go grocery shopping, pick up the kids or whatever. These are what I'm going to be rocking out. And I must say, I love the shoe, the quality, Everything about the shoe is so nice, you know, in the colorway, this OG colorway, so nice. I think a lot of people are actually liking these two as well, so I'm pretty sure. Don't sleep on these things, guys. These things will sell out, and they'll sell out very fast. And I'm not even sure how they're going to be releasing the shoe. Like, usually with Air Jordan Lowe's, they usually do, like, I think even with a couple Air Jordan 1 Low OGs, uh, like the Black Cement, they didn't even do, like, a, you know, a raffle system in my area, or JD Sports, did they even do EA? These things are set to release on August 4th, officially on the sneakers and also on most other sites too as well. Maybe it was supposed to be releasing this weekend on July 28th on a Friday, but it did get pushed back, you know, depending on what your store and what they're doing, it's gonna be August 4th. So we're doing a little early, early, so you guys can decide if you guys want these things or not. Like I said, this is my top or one of my most anticipated shoes of the summer so far. Going towards the end of the summer, this is actually probably gonna be one of the best back to school shoes as well. Now I remember back in the day, like 2016, no one liked lows, no one liked mids, everyone wanted the highs, that's for sure. Things have switched up, you know, in 2023 and last year. Everybody want the lows. I gotta thank Travis Scott for that. But these are a great shoe. It's a great looking shoe. And it's the OG way, the OG format. I know a lot of people are gonna also probably put in like, it's not exactly the OG, which I do get because the OG lows, the OG OG lows, they have a bigger Nike Swish, but you know, that's neither here nor there. But it's just saying, hey, this is pretty nice for us to get an OG colorway to come back with OG lows, man. I can't wait till they come out. What's next? Maybe Chicago OG low. That would be crazy. Or bread, or even the, the shadows. Right? If you want to uh, compare quality wise, it's pretty close to, I want to say, the powder blues. Kind of close, but I just want to say, like, the, the black toes is way more tumbled compared to the powder blue. It's still soft leather and all. It's the same color blocking. It's just that one switch to the red to the blue. But overall, hey, I like these things too as well. These things are pretty nice, but gotta go with the OG colorway. Anyway guys, let's just go ahead. Let's get into this review real quick, huh? All right, all right, all right. Let's take a quick little 360 of these things. And I must say, they nice. With the OG black and red Nike Air Air Jordan 1 box. With the OG colorway like this, I don't mind it. But let's take a look at the shoe here. The shoe, like I said, the material. Material is so nice, man. The leather quality is so good. Look at this tumble, tumble, soft leather on the side panels on this white. Take a look at the toe box that tumble, tumbled. Very soft, quality is immaculate. Like I said, this shoe is so great. And even the black, on the, the side panels here on the black toe box, the black toe, even nice soft leather here. And the only crazy thing is the red part on this back part, on the, on the heels and on the ankle collar. It's like this flat, it's like this flat matted red here. And the, the leather material is, you know, not crazy, but hey, it's, I don't mind it. The big blown up Air Jordan 1 wing logo on the back of the heels. Same on the inner side as well. Got that black Nike swoosh. Now a lot of people is also, like I said, the OG OGs have the big Nike swoosh, but these are fine too. Now it already does come laced up on laced up on the first eyelid and is the red laces with that flat rope laces. You had the black nylon tongue here. You got the top of the tag on top of the tongue. You got that red Nike Air logo on the top. Now it does come with the extra set of laces in this recycle box. It does come with the black. I know a lot of people are gonna switch the black instead of the red. Either one is gonna be great, but my personal preference, I'm gonna rock it with the white laces. I think these things look super clean. I mean, I probably would have rocked it with the black if my 
my high tops weren't uh, in, with the black laces. So I'm gonna rock with the white laces. Then inside the insole, you do have that white insole inside with that black Nike Air logo inside. White midsole with stitching through the midsole all the way through. And of course you have that iconic Air Jordan 1 outsole in red. You got that Nike embossed here in the middle, that traction pod, that iconic rubber outsole. Now you don't wanna get your outsoles all nasty and dirty, so make sure you guys get on that drip grip. Use my discount code JUMPERMAN10. It is the best sole protector on the market today. No slippage, no tears, multiple wears. I wore these all day at, uh, at Disney and also like at a sneaker event, I got soles and it's still goods to go. So multiple wears, no tears. Make sure you guys get on that drip grip. Use my discount code JUMPERMAN10. Heaven, man, these are the Air Jordan 1 Low Black Toe. Man, love these things. I think these things are fantastic. Pretty sure a lot of people are gonna like these things. So do not sleep, put a little bit of footwork in. Hopefully you guys are gonna be able to get your pair. Now, like I said, um, the way I wear my Air Jordan 1 Lows, I, I like to wear mine true to size. I hear a lot of people say they like to go down a half a size because you know with the Air Jordan 1 Highs, it's a little bit extra padding on the top, so they like to go a little bit higher or they just wear the true to size. My, me personally, I just wear my true to size and it fit just fine. It doesn't really like, it's not loose or just doesn't rub or anything crazy. So true to size is good with me, but if you guys can, maybe go to your store, put one on, see what works better for you, down a size or half a size, because you don't want it to move a lot because it will rub your ankles, cause it to bleed. Resale wise, it is the Air Jordan 1 Black Toe. These things are gonna move. I think these things are probably gonna be at that 180 mark to about 200, probably around that range right there where they're at right now. They might see a little spike after release day with that whole impulse buying, that panic buying. I could see them go to like 200. Matter of fact, this shoe here, I could see this shoe potentially do some pretty good numbers, like 250 at least, you know? Compared, I think these things retail at 140 or 150. It being a low, it's a lot lower compared to a high. The highs are at 180 now, plus tax, almost like 200 bucks. So I could see these things staying about 200. So like I said, man, I, I don't think they're gonna go any lower than that. You know, I know a lot of Air Jordan lows, they definitely tanked with the, the Pyro Blues and the Beach Corals bleach corals and the mystique blues i know they kind of went down but you know what with this being an og colorway it could do some pretty good numbers just saying but i had my fair shares of black toes just saying of some holding cells well guys that's pretty much in other video guys you guys let me know are you guys gonna be copping the air Jordan one low black toe og lows Hey, I need at least two pairs in my collection. I need at least two pairs. I plan on wearing these things quite a bit. These are gonna be my dailies. These are gonna be my everyday shoe. I put that on everything. This is gonna be that shoe. I'm gonna replace these over the pandas. That's for sure. Cause I wear my pandas like daily. So these are gonna be the shoes that's gonna be right by the front door. If I need to go out, I'm gonna rock these. So anyway guys, that's pretty much end of the video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it guys. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on all my social media at jeremy chris on ig sometime on twitter don't forget snapchat i'm also on tiktok anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all i'm jeremy chris Pish.